It's Thomas here and today we're going to be taking a look at Ice Caps Gyre Pumps. If you're looking for one of the best bang for your buck options in a gyre pump and want all of the benefits of gyre technology along with Wi-Fi controllability, Apex, Hydros and other aquarium controller compatibility through 0 to 10 volt, single sided operation for nano tanks or tight spaces, spare rotors, mesh flow guards and the ability to add a second gyre pump to the same controller to really stack on those savings, then I think the gyre pumps from IceCap are going to be a great option. Gyre pumps have become a popular option for reefers that want to move large amounts of water from one end of the tank to the other and back to help prevent detritus buildup on the substrate while also creating lots of indirect and random flow patterns in and around their corals. Gyre pumps are also DC controllable, quiet, and uniquely able to direct flow in two places at the same time and can be placed closer to the surface of the water without creating vortexes and blowing bubbles and as a result have less cord in the tank, a slimmer profile file and can be easier on the eyes. Ice Caps 2K and 4K pumps bring that unique gyre flow technology at a fantastic price point, including Wi-Fi app control and 0 to 10 volt control, redundancy with optional battery backup, along with extras like a set of black rotors, bushings, mesh flow guards, and an end cap for single-sided operation. Plus, if you want to stack on those savings, you can get a second bare pump and add it to the existing controller with your first pump. Doesn't even matter if they're the same model. You can mix 2K and 4K and they play nice. In the box, you'll find the ice cap gyre pump with the magnetic mount, the Wi-Fi controller for up to two pumps, a parts pack that includes a black propeller set, an end cap for single-sided operation, mesh flow guards, and some spare parts, and the power supply. The ice cap gyre pumps are available in two models, the 2K and the 4K, pushing 2,000 and 4,000 gallons per hour respectively. The 2K comes in at under 9 inches long and 3 inches wide with a 1.5 inch height and a flow rate of 739 to 2000 gallons per hour rated for aquariums as small as 20 gallons up to and over 100 gallons with a magnetic mount that will attach to panels up to half an inch thick. The 4K is larger at 12 inches by 3 inches by 1.7 inches high with a flow rate between 1286 to 1400 gallons per hour and is suitable for aquariums as small as 25 gallons to well over 150 gallons and can attach to aquarium panels up to 5 eighths of an inch thick. The ice cap gyres are of course licensed and have a similar form factor to the newest generation of gyre pumps including a centralized magnetic mount and free-floating rotor covers for a sleeker and less bulky profile inside of the tank. And while most reefers are probably going to take advantage of the gyre's ability to be placed very close to the surface of the water, you do have a number of mounting options including vertical placement and placement in the corners of the tank or near the bottom of the aquarium. You can also opt for the single-sided operation if you need to sneak the gyre into a particularly tight spot or for use in smaller nano reef aquariums. The ice cap gyres come with their new dual pump Wi-Fi controller. The first thing you're going to notice is that there aren't any onboard controls and you will need to connect it to your iOS or Android device in order to set it up. When you take a look at the face of the controller, you'll see four LEDs, one for the status, one for the mode, and one for each of the pumps that's currently connected to the controller, so you can see what's going on at a glance. Like I mentioned, the controller is also capable of running two pumps using a single power supply, so if you wanted to run a pair of gyres, you can get a second standalone pump and hook it up to the controller and power supply included with the first pump, which adds even more affordability. You can also mix and match 2K and 4K models on the same controller and power supply, which is great for those who want that added flexibility and to save some space on their controller board and power bar. The controllers are also backwards compatible, so if you already have a 1K or 3K gyre pump from IceCap and you want it to upgrade, you can just attach them to the existing controller and power supply with no issues at all. Then your older generation pump is going to function just like your newer generation pump. The Hydros app that the new controller runs on is quite thorough and gives you a wide range of adjustments. It provides four different flow modes, including constant, random, sine wave, and square wave, as well as feeding, water change, and night modes. You can also specify the minimum and maximum flow range of the pump for both regular flow and reverse flow independently. You can also specify if the pumps are on the same side of the aquarium or opposing sides, which will have them work in sync or anti-sync. The app also allows you to toggle the ability for the pump to run in reverse on or off and even gives you the ability to run the pump only in reverse if that's something you're interested in doing. 
You can also build your own schedule using any of the four preset flow modes, adjust the minimum, maximum, and the duration of that mode, and then when that mode will trigger and for how long. You can also mix and match presets throughout the day to create some interesting and complex flow patterns. The Hydros app that these pumps run on gives you a ton of flexibility and you can do some really cool and interesting things with it from a flow perspective if you take the time to get to know the app. I will be honest, it is not the most intuitive app that I've ever used, but it is one of the most, if not the most thorough app that I've ever used for a flow pump. There is so many cool things you can do with it. You got all the options, save for mow the lawn. The IceCap Gyre controller also offers a zero to 10 volt port for compatibility with external controllers like Apex, Proflux, or Hydros. So if you prefer to access and control your pumps through your existing aquarium controller, you've got the option. And like I touched on earlier, they're also battery backup ready, which is really nice. And they can be paired up with the IceCap battery backup to automatically give your reef tank up to 35 hours of critical circulation and oxygenation in the event your tank experiences a power failure, whether it's just a tripped GFCI or a citywide outage. When it comes to maintenance, the ice caps come apart easily for cleaning and offer color-coded parts, so you always know which parts belong on which side of the pump when you're reassembling. Gyro pumps are a bit more involved than standard propeller-style pumps when it comes to maintenance. They essentially have two impellers and some extra components. But if you clean them monthly using a gentle acid bath to remove any built-up coralline or precipitate, you'll cut down on how often they need to be fully disassembled. Now, if you're already full up on high-tech pumps in your reef tank, but you would like to be able to get the pumps you already have closer to the surface of the water, you can check out this video right here on the Urchin Flow Guards from Neat Aquatics. They are awesome. Not only can you get them really close to the surface of the water, they reduce the velocity of the water entering the pump without impeding the flow. So it's safer for your anemones and your snails. And also they come in a wide angle model so you can get them even closer to your corals if you need to. So check it out. I'm a big fan of Neat Aquatics. I, I'm, I'm kind of just blown away by what they produce. It is so well thought out.